a dreamer that changed the world with his products, the father of digital revolution, the inventor, designer, and the entrepreneur, who was the co-founder and the chairman of Apple Computer, with a net worth of more than $10 billion, and one of the most powerful persons in business of all time, Steve Jobs. Good morning. James Brown. So thank you. Thank you for coming. We're going to make some history together today. Stephen Powell Jobs was born on 24th of February 1955 in San Francisco, California in the USA. He lived with his adoptive family in Mountain View and went to school in the town of Cupertino. In 1972, Steve went to Reed College in Portland, Oregon. Although Steve was very intelligent, he wasn't interested in schooling. That's why he dropped out of college after six months and spent the next 18 months dropping in on creative classes at school. In 1976, when Jobs was just 21, he and his friend Steven Wozniak started building Apple computers in Steve's family garage. They founded their entrepreneurial venture by Jobs selling his Volkswagen Bass and Wozniak selling his beloved scientific calculator. On the 1st April 1976, Jobs with his friends Steven Wozniak and Ronald Wayne started the Apple company and in the same year they sold the first Apple One computer for $666.66. The huge success of Apple One computer pushed Jobs and Wozniak to create beta computers and by 1977 they created Apple II computer and from the computers heavy sales throughout the country, Jobs soon became millionaire. However, things weren't giving well for Jobs as in 1985 he got fired from his founded company and after leaving Apple, despite that difficult condition, but his love for his work makes him continue. So, he started another computer company called Next Computers. Today, we're going to introduce four new products. We're going to show you some of the neatest apps that have ever been created for any desktop platform. We're going to show you the best color that's ever been. And also, in 1986, Jobs bought Pixar, a computer animation company. And Pixar made Toy Story movie. And the movie was a really huge success. In 1996, Jobs returned to his founded company, Apple. Steve Jobs. <laughs> When Jobs returned to Apple, the company was in dire straits. He became the CEO once again and working to turn the company around via new products and investment. During Jobs' tenure, Apple launched the iMac, iBook, iPod, iPhone, iPad, and more. In 2018, the company's worth was over $1 trillion. For 2010, we're going to take the biggest leap since the original iPhone. Jobs died in Palo Alto on 5th of October 2011 after battling pancreatic cancer for nearly a decade. He was just 56 years old, but his products changed the world of technology forever. <laughs>